found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No. You won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is... I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got... Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Bien, ¿o qué? Ready, Pam? Three, two, one, and... For more than two decades, New York-based law firm... Barnsley must be over the moon oh, about John stepping down. She's been living alone here for, what, six years? Ever since the scandal that ruined her career.
Bienvenidos tu viñeda Yates. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. Tamara Vidal. I'm here for the tour, it seems. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal. My apologies. I didn't recognize you. Let me send a new email. Luther? Burnwood's flying solo. I want all eyes on her. Let's see what she does. And Luther, redeploy the birds and key in on the party area. We're spread too thin. Too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. They're all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Vargas, the state's chief winemaker. Well, this is a real privilege. You and Gates must be very close. Yes, about 400 meters, I should say. Pardon me? Never mind. I'll just wait here for my companion. Carry on. See that guy over there? That's Don Gates Fixer from New York. That? Is Corvo Black? Don't stare. The busted heads for this. That man's a beast. One of the stories. Started out in narcotics, got fired for misconduct. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Should he calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. He wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist one of the Davies. Yates' is business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign in with the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I could. You mind telling me what I'm... In fact, a couple of spots come to mind. On the tour or after. So you're not sure. Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. And now she's pissing on your parade. It's a nice gesture. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds of yours, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Okay. So who's this? I'm more of a beer man myself, but if Yates wants to bring the heralds Thank closer you. together and play the modern boss, I, <laughs> nah. I don't actually mind. No, nah, no problem. Edwards always was. Has this never framed an urban legend but before? He has Very post true. Yeah. He's like Edward's it. closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I say. Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about Burnwood? How do you think? She and her friends killed Yamazaki. Cassidy, probably Bronson. How is she fit to be a herald? But on the other hand, people defect all the time, and she do most research and qualified. The Constant knows what he's doing. Doesn't mean we have to like him.
Tell me you didn't forget. Greetings, sir. Tell me you didn't forget the asado torch. Okay. I didn't forget the asado torch, Miguel. But you did, though. Didn't you, Pablo? I tell you Why do you have to? What are we supposed to do? Four decades of the for now. I think looking far Hello there. Hello there, and welcome to the Yates Winery. How may I help you? Corval Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black, welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. surveillance specialist ever to graduate from Kent. Ran one of our interrogation black sites for a while, and I tell you, those prisoners crawling like yours. I couldn't believe the way actually the end You ask me, the constant must have lost his mind. Burnwood was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of our people? How could she be a herald? Maybe Vidal will trip her down the stairs. Those heels are an accident waiting. Don't hold your breath. Vidal is a true believer. Fiercely loyal to the gods. Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. Atta boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. You didn't hear? You'd better not. Did Nathan tell his family to wear it? What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? As if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates socialite friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yeats doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Um, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Come on. I left it right here.
your boy Leandro throwing his knee out yesterday. They say the poor guy might be off for the whole Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you Do requested. I know him? Yes, good. Bring him here. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size, large and firm. It's brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. In for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to contact. Will do. Hello, wine lover. Hello. Welcome to Viñeda Yates. I do apologize for the delay. The Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's hey. crop. Hmm? Great expectations. So, how do you like so, Argentina? Yo. Like everywhere else, full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. 
We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add that grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically rare and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. Say queso. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. This is what the little guy feels like. Nope. All good. Looks like one for the mat. Any further questions? Ask away. What can you tell me about this grape crusher? Well, as the name implies, it crushes the distilled grapes into a thick pulp or mast by a powerful rotating cylinder. She is one of the most important appliances in our production pipeline. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Fall into the vat and get crushed to a pulp? You'd have to be a bona fide idiot. A waste of space, if you ask me. Yes, well, fortunately, we have had none of that, so if there's no further questions... Call something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well, I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. Well. 
So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? It's all very inspiring. I could see you retired to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates's fixer forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little herald get-together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? But did aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. The meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence, a calculated risk. Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you.
just a punk life. We're talking DVDs. The whole place looked like a horror flick. I called it Gate. It's not unreasonable. Think about it. Duval was kidnapped by the Ministry of Health. Ah, senor, has it got anything to do with this? It's not on you. Hey, think about it. Hey, Duval what? was kidnapped by the militia and held in the You will end up six feet under if you keep acting like this. I've been meaning to ask if you could check you with your portrait. That, oh my I know god! You did that, you maniac. If we no. you <laughs> I'm wicked smart, and yet I find myself in these situations all the time, just...
1945 Grand Paladin? It is perfection. Flowers, over here. Come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting offed. I'm gonna need to frisk you if you want to come through here. Hey, yo, there's no need to flex. You ain't got to impress me. Okay. You are good to go. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. Place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. Flowers, you're blowing it. I have always considered that. 
Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, Flowers. our resident sommelier. The bottle. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Place, the damn bottle. Stage fright, Mr. Flowers? Well, that's all. This wine was gifted to me by the Ark Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom! Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Oh, Absolutely. I'm absolutely right. Absolutely. Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. Got it. What the You're shit. lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? I'm in. Yes. 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 I agree. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. Here's all. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent here, 47. Pal. I'm sorry. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you will all attest to. Yes. I'm in. Yes. yes. I agree. Yes. A toast, then, in her honor. Savor the taste because you never will again. And let me remind you. We are in this together. One goes down, we all go down. Here's to loyalty. Took you long enough. Quick, clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long.
Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug courtesan do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don. You shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Holy shit! If it's any consolation, Don, your instincts were dead on. I will be constant now. And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick uh, by brick. Uh, Finish it. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately.
really starting to get hungry. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs> <laughs> 